Okay, what is Chambers of My Heart? What is that? Hey guys, it's your humble host, our kid if you prefer, so I'm back with another video. Usually I don't stick my nose into comic book stuff, but I've been hearing about this one on and off in the wind, and there's certain stuff going on that involve a certain group of people that are just being massively retarded. And then I have a video pop up in my feed, and I'll link it below. And I started to watch it, and I just, I couldn't finish it, not because of the content creator, but because of what he was saying. So, for those of you who don't know, Eric July of Esom, or Ripaverse, is getting sued over a name by a Christian company, miniseries, whatever, ministry, and technically... They can't even trademark the name. I will show you why in a minute. Again, I'm not a legal expert. I have no background when it comes to trademarks. But but a simple Google search will show you the name Esom is used by a multitude of people. And it's an actually established name that people use to name their children. So let's read because this article came out yesterday. And this is the second article to the first one that the content creator, link in the description below, forgive me, I do not know his name, I just saw the video pop up. Go watch that and then go read the article or whatever. Let's, oh, this is so stupid. Eric July responds to Good Shepherd Ministries suing him and Ripaverse over East Song trademark, the name, accuses organization of attempting to shake him down. Eric July issued a response to Van Gillifin and Good Shepherd Ministries after Gillifin declared he would proceed with suing July and his comic book company, Ripaverse, over a trademark dispute concerning July's Esom character. In his response, July accused Gillifin and Good Shepherd Ministries of attempting to shake him down. And this is kind of what it looks like to me, just because of Google search for the name. This is over the flippin' name. Um, Good Shepherd Ministries can't even trademark the name because, again, I will show you here in a minute... It is an acronym for other stuff, and then it is a established name that somebody can give to their child. You cannot trademark a name that is used by a multitude of people. It just Again, I don't know the legality of everything, but this is so freaking stupid. And I think just from, because I've already went through and kind of skimmed through this article, my personal opinion, Good Shepherd Ministries is getting pissed off. Because according to a little bit that I watched of the video, link in the description below, is that Esom by Eric July is getting a lot more clicks and attention in Google's algorithm than Good Shepherd Ministries. Cry harder. Um, oh, this is so stupid. A Google search. This is all it took me. And again, I'm not a lawyer. I have no background in dealing with trademarks and the legality of them. But just a Google search, you can pull up the name and it has a multitude of different results. Are these guys going to sue everybody that uses the name Esom? Like, for real. Let's continue. Gillifant outlined in a lengthy post to X that he and Good Shepherd Ministries would proceed with their lawsuit claiming that July was infringing on their Esom trademark and was damaging their business. Yeah, no, at this point... Good Shepherd Ministries, you're damaging your own brand, and actually, I kind of hope you tank. This is actually pretty messed up. Uh, these guys are pissy, in my opinion. In my opinion. Because they're not getting enough clicks. Like they're used to. And Esom by Eric July has been garnering a lot more attention because his comic book, just from the little bit I've seen, because I've seen him on and off, um, he's been attacked by a multitude of people. And again, I don't know Eric July. I don't read his comic. I don't financially support him. This is just a third party kind of looking in going, yeah, no, this is stupid. Everyone in this outside of maybe Eric, again, I haven't looked into this thoroughly, but just about everyone in this is acting really retarded. And there's certain people that are involved that are acting just as stupid. But when it comes to a Christian ministry trying to do a indie comic book creator over a name that a multitude of people and companies use, 
yeah, that tells me that you guys are pissy. You're not getting the attention on Google or people aren't finding you as often as you're used to. Anyway, let's continue. He says, oh, excuse you. He specifically stated the core issue in this dispute is trademark infringement. A basic test for trademark infringement is whether consumers are likely to be confused as to the source of the trademark things. In other words, are consumers likely to think there's a connection between Good Shepherd decades of using its ESOM trademark and Good Shepherd's U.S. registration of its ESOM trademark? But the name... This is a fight over the flippin' name. No, no one's going to confuse Eric July's comic book over some shitty-ass ministry. And I don't know anything about Good Shepherd Ministries, but this, this tells me all I need to freaking know. Because a Google search, and I don't miss the church fear, not by a long shot. A simple Google search will bring up a multitude of results when you type in the word ESOM. Let me show you. So... I typed in ESOM DEF. That's what does ESOM stand for? You have Information Systems and Operations Management. ESOM, International uh, Symposium on Optical Memory. ESOM, International School of Ministry. Um, San Bar, I don't even know how to pronounce it, I don't care, of California. Um, ESOM, Urban Dictionary, technically stands for Island South of Miami. It refers to Cuban cigars. So, let me see, because I'm going to pull up. <laughs> Lucky, are we going to go after a cigar place? They use ESOM. You can't trademark a name. Here is a cigar company. Please tell me my OBS, what's well, kind of want. This is a cigar company that uses ESOM. So, look. I pull up cigars, acronym for uh, Island South of Miami, a term popularized on the internet, used by some to refer to Cuba. So, and then you have um, Romeo, Wide Your Letter, ESOM Review. Um, so, what's an ESOM? So, this is all about, that was just cigars. Um, acronym Finder. Um, you have the International School of Ministry, International. So, it's the same freaking thing. A cert oh, here's the thing. Wikipedia, of all things. Wikipedia. Dun, 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 dun. A male given name, rare in English. So, this is a name you give to a child. Here's the thing. Here's um, spiritual meaning of the name, Esom Revealed. Uh, with a rich history and meaning, it is derived from the Greek word Esos, meaning equal or balanced. So, this is a actual term that has a Greek origin, so you can't trademark a word that is used by everybody. It's like tra um, when uh, the React, Let's React, whatever that stupid React channel was that tried to trademark the word React video. Do you guys remember that bullshit? This is along the same lines. Um, what does the name Esau mean? Uh, I think I have it pulled up here. This is Ancestry.com, ESOM, Family History, English, ESEX, uh, Habitational Name from um, ESOM in Northern Tom's Fire. The place name is derived from the river name, say, of Celtic origin, an old English name, Ham Homestead. So this has a Celtic origin as well. I mean, this is getting, this is stupid. This is so freaking stupid. Um, all acronyms. Here we go. Hopefully you guys can see this, because, oh my goodness, this is so effing dumb. Oh, look, ESOM, International Specification of Orienting, uh, Orienteering Maps. Information Systems and Operations Management. Inner Strife of the Outer uh, Medulla. Um, Immune Stone Stimulating Complex. Indonesian Series of Motorsport. Industrial Security operation, uh, Operating Manual. Um, informal state, like the list goes freaking on. These people are being effing stupid. Now, I don't know how Eric July has responded, whether it's in a professional manner. I have no idea. Um, but, and then you have information systems and operations management faculty. So the last thing I pull up, let me see without the word deaf. Okay. So the first thing is international school of ministry. Um, that's the first thing that pulls up. You have Ripaverse. 
You have in some online, you have Bible school, you have Islam Veterinary Hospital. Okay. So, sorry, yes, I'm yelling and I apologize, but this is so effing dumb. Like, are you guys going to go after the freaking vet hospital too? Every, there's a lot of people that use the name. Um, it doesn't just belong to Good Shepherd Ministries. This is so freaking dumb. You have Esau 1, uh, Heather Valley, a medium. Uh, this is also, let's see, okay, Ripaverse. Um, now we're bringing up more of Eric July stuff, Wikipedia. So this is dumb. I, I, I cannot specify how dumb this is. A simple Google search, you have vets, you have cigars, you have acronyms for many different things come up, like good freaking God. And then you have, <laughs> it's an actual name you give to a child. Like, it's tra trying to trademark the name Katie, or William, or Sir Lancelot. Like, dude, you can't. He specifically stated the core issue in this, dis uh, in this dispute is trademark infringement. A basic test of trademark infringement is we their consumers. Oh, I already read this shit. So, yeah, no, this is, oh, I, I you know what? I want to see how the, the responses to this. Give me the responses, because this is so... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, sadness. Yeah. Whatever. Um, a lot of people don't have affiliation with uh, with you. I I'm sure at this point, nobody wants to. Someone's great-great-grandfather. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. I hope they lose. I don't even know if there's a point to finish reading this article. This is so freaking stupid. In response to the statement from Gilfan, July issued his own statement on his YouTube channel describing the lawsuit as baseless. Yes, it is completely baseless, and I hope these guys lose a lot of money, because as other people have gone and done, just like I have, Google, um, someone's great-great-great-grandfather's given name, um, may want to look into suing the following as well. Yeah, oh my gosh, other people went and looked. Yes, I'm liking this. Yes, yes. Yes, this is so stupid. Good Shepherd Ministries is pissy. Honestly, in my opinion, that their stuff is not getting as much as attention because Eric July's comic is taking off. Um, this is yeah, no, this there's no point of suing. If you want to stand out more, um, you push your brand further. And trust me, no one's gonna confuse a flippin' comic book with a shitty ass ministry. I'm sorry, but if you were trying to sue somebody for a name that is used by multitude of companies, people, vets, cigars, like, that tells me you are desperate for money. It, like, it's that freaking bad because the spotlight or the algorithm no longer favors you when people type in your name. It's like, I'll give an example because I actually made a post about this, okay? I made a post about this on my Facebook. It's like if I try to go after other people for using the chambers of my heart, that is not, so specifically, that is not my name. That is an expression used by a multitude of people throughout the ages, throughout the years. The only thing I own and that I can rightfully go after anybody is my own expression. And I've talked about this on my Facebook in a more uh, symbolic um, manner and sense. But I, if I were to try to tra uh, trademark the name, the expression, the chambers of my heart, I would be foolish to try to do so. The only thing I can trademark is my expression of it alone. And here's what this boils down to. Again, I'm not a lawyer. I have no legal background, but this is stupid. This is freaking people being petty as hell. And I hope Eric July freaking buries them because, wow, this really got, you can tell I'm a little bit triggered, because, oh my gosh, this tells me you were desperate for money, your enrollment went down, all that other bullshit, and I bet you anything, if you dig into Good Shepherd Ministries, you would find they're probably down financially and enrollment-wise. Bet money. Because you will not be doing this dumb shit, trying to go after an indie comic book creator of all freaking things. And you know what? I think Eric July has a point because anytime, anytime, like we've seen this multiple times, when you have someone who considers themselves big and they consider their opponent small, I do think we have a mentality of a big guy 
trying to go after a little guy or what they think in their minds is a little guy. It's like, oh, this is going to be easy. Blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not going to finish reading the article. I'm going to link it in the description. Um, and then I'm also going to link Eric July's response because there's, yeah, no, I, I, I've seen this floating around Twitter. Like I said, I don't know Eric July. I don't financially support him. Not because I hate him, but because, you know, it is very hard for me to get into new media. And as I said in my last update video, I am barely getting into Baldur's Gate 3. So I barely get into any new media these days. I haven't even finished one piece of live action yet. And that's already finished wrapping up season two confirmed, I believe. So I just, I don't have a lot of time and mental energy. And pursuing comic books does financial um, pursuing and keeping up with the story, really getting into the story. And you know what? Just from the art, I like the art. I've seen um, a bit of the art. I, I don't find it tacky. I, I really don't. I find it expressive. I think it's really cool. Now, um, as I said, I don't know how Eric July has responded. I know he's in some freaking dumbass fight with Rikita Law, and of course, Dick Masterson is involved. Masterson, Masterson, excuse me. Um, and as far as I know, <laughs> we've already discussed Rikita Law on this channel. But everything I've heard and kind of seen of Dick Masterson, he's just he needs to get the fuck off the internet. Like you're getting older, man. Like figure out what you want to do with your life. Um, if you guys haven't seen Elisa clips. Ooh, that's another thing I'm going to link in the description below. Um, she actually got a hold of a clip um, during a Rakita Law stream to where Dick Masterson is only messing with Eric July because he doesn't like his art. Like, I, I'm not even kidding. It's a 24, 25 minute length freaking thing. These people are petty and I can't emphasize it enough. So a lot of these guys need to get the fuck offline and it shows. Anyway, this is so, so stupid okay let me read this little bit and then i'm wrapping it because this article is long and i'm not going to be here ranching and raving and just being a broken record and it's the video is already 16 minutes so let's know if the main issue was centered around assuring that there was a distinction between the ripaverse and the international school of ministry which there already is we were open to negotiations july asserted we disagree that anyone would truly confuse a ministry and a comic book company or comic book creator, but we were certainly open to hearing and addressing real concerns. So, Good Shepherd Ministries is obviously that stupid or that arrogant. I, I, I'm voting for both here because, good lord, you're not going to confuse a shitty ass ministry with a comic book indie creator just you're not like no this is wow <laughs> that is just an insult to a thousands if not thousands of people's intelligence like good grief and let me point this out too because unfortunately there is this stereotype which I, I don't miss uh when i left the church sphere and i'm sorry this is if any of my viewers go to church that's Fine, I, I'm not making fun of you, and I just, I've had it. I fucking had it. But there's a stereotype that comes from the religious sphere, and where you get people who are le that legit fucking stupid about anything on the internet. I'm not kidding. I ran into it more than once, and there is a lot of times where you'll see this in Christian media, too. And I'm not knocking all Christian media. I'm really not. And we've discussed that on my channel as well. What my god does the stereotype live? And it lives well, unfortunately. Uh, and it's legitimate because I've had discussions in the past about certain things online. And I've had people get really fucking confused and just look at me. And it's just like, okay, y'all. <laughs> I'm laughing because this stereotype exists. Either these people are that stupid, arrogant, both. I don't know which is worse. So anyway, yes, this is a little spiteful because I, I just, oh my gosh, this is so stupid. Anyway, let's continue. Um, We had some settlement discussions, July relayed, and we thought we were on track to finding a mutually beneficial solution, but we were blindsided with the International School of Ministry, a non-profit demanded profit from our company to be part of the negotiation. Now, here's the thing. Here's the 
thing. Looking at that little bit, again, no legal expertise here. But if I got, if I was Eric July and I got told, hey, we want money from your comic book sales because you use a name that a lot of other people use, but we wanted to trademark it. That tells me they are desperate for money and they are lacking the attention they need for their school. It is that freaking obvious. And they wanted this to be perpetual. Again, this is shocking. Tell, they are money grubbing. They are money grubbing because Eric July, Ripaverse, his stuff is hitting the algorithms and betcha that it's overtaking attention and clicks away from Good Shepherd Ministries. And you know what? Again, cry harder. Um, because if you're not getting the traffic to your website that you used to, you're doing something wrong. It's like, for example, because I've run into this where I can type in the chambers of my heart, just to use an, an example, and I can get uh, poetry, I can get um, other people's Facebook pages, um, because there's a lot of people who have the same idea um, to use a phrase because the chambers of my heart, the chambers of heart is a phrase that has been used throughout the used centuries to express all kinds of things. It's just a known phrase. Nobody can trademark it. It's the expression. Now, now, if I have someone called also the chambers of my heart suddenly take off and take over the algorithms, I'm doing something wrong. If I wanted to be the top search result for the chambers of my heart, it means I need to bust my ass. I need to do something different. Now, am I trying to do that right now? No, because I don't, I'm not pouring that into my social media, my platforms at the moment. But you guys get the freaking point here. So this tells me that Good Shepherd Media, or Ministries, excuse me, has been doing the same thing, is used to a certain range of clicks and attention and whatever, and Eric July, Ripaverse, has now been overtaking the algorithms because he's actually doing the work. He's actually putting his stuff out there. Now, suffice to say, do I know if his response to this entire thing has been wholly professional? I can't say because I haven't done a deep dive. But just on the surface from what I'm seeing, just the Google search going, yeah, Good Shepherd Ministries is in the wrong here. These guys are fucking idiots. They are full-blown idiots. And again, the stereotype lives when you have people who want to live in these four white walled boxes and houses and they never step outside their specific realm and you will find just how ignorant and just out of touch with shit they are. And again, nobody's going to confuse the International School of Ministry with Eric July's comic book. Like, you, you have to be legit fucking dumb. You legit have to be like, ignorant of the internet, ignorant of all kinds of things, to be that fucking stupid. Anyway, let's continue. But even worse, the International School of Ministry is demanding limits on our ability to create, and that's all we want to do as a company, build characters and create comic books. We want to give our customers a good time, we want to, um, excuse me, we want them to have fun. In the words of Neil Gaiman, we strive to make good art, he said. So... There is nothing, the expression, the expression of the name Esam has nothing to do with Good Shepherd Ministries, nor is it even in the same freaking vein. Um, July would then go on to reveal his character of Esam, a.k.a. every seal man is named after a number of his family members. So yes, because it's a name. It is a name of origin, has Celtic origin, and then uh, Greek, uh, English. So yes, it is a name. And then what was also, it was a word that was a uh, derived from Greek. Uh, da, 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 da. Places edit Isam Kentucky. No, that's not what I was looking for. I read it earlier in the freaking video. Um, oh, look, International Society of Orthomolecular Medicine, Isam. Um, Isam, let's see, is this, okay, this is their stuff again that's getting pulled up. Department of Isam. Are you going to go after uh, the University of Central Oklahoma? <laughs> For real, dude. This is embarrassing. Like, I I'm not even a part of this. I'm a third party, and I'm laughing my ass off. I'm not laughing at Eric July's dilemma, because this has got to be stressful as all hell. 
But I'm laughing at the stupidity of another quote-unquote Christian ministry so out of touch with the rest of the world. They're going after a freaking indie comic book creator. Like, oh my God, dude, <laughs> for real. I'm sorry if this video is dripping with venom and spite, but dude, <laughs> this stereotype lives. I don't miss this shit. I really, really don't. Okay, let's continue. Specifically, he details the name Esam is the first name of the second generation patriarch of my family, Esam Knox. Nice. He was born in 1851 in Arkansas. He's my great, great, great grandfather. Oh my gosh. I'm not laughing at Eric July again. I just explained what I was laughing at. Next July, I detailed the surname Silman is his great, great grandmother's maiden name. Oh, dude, there's family history here. Cool. Her name being Mary Jane Silman. As for Avery July revealed, it's based on my great grandfather, Avery Knox, who was born in 1980. Excuse me. I mixed up the numbers there. In 1897 and is Esam's grandson. He then details how this character's first, last, and hero name are all based on real people that are my family members. The name Esam predates Good Shepherd in both my family and other instances, many other instances. Yes. So, again, I'm not laughing at Eric July's dilemma. Court stuff is stressful, it's annoying, it's tedious. And it's just all around a royal pain in the ass. And my experience is unemployment and then um, with my involvement with Save James um, and that shtick. So thankfully, I don't have real experience because I would not want to be on that end. No offense. Just yikes. But anyway, <sighs> despite the frustration, I'm laughing at how dumb... How dumb another ministry is being right now. So out of touch. Like, I, I, that is also a frustration. So it's funny, but it's frustrating. It's a double-edged sword. Let's continue. July went on to reveal that he informed Gillifan of this. The sad part of the situation is that Dr. Gill Gillifan, Good Shepherd's founder, personally asked me to explain this when I met with... When I met with me. Oh, when... When he met with me, and I did. This was before they demanded a perpetual profit off of our work. Yeah, no, they're desperate for money. This is what this reads like. They're freaking desperate for money. And Eric July's comic book is taking off and has taken over the algorithms because Eric July has put in the work. Again, cry harder. A profit off of my efforts to honor my family. And you know what? The fact that he installed, or excuse me, instilled family history. Like, dude, I would be livid. Like, I hopefully he's countersuing, and I'd countersue for everything, because screw that. He added they were unwilling to withdraw any momentary payment, and we do not take those frivolous threats lightly. Good, don't. Because the hell with that. Like, I, I can't stand a lot of the uh, religious sphere anymore. I just, I, I can't. I, as I have grown, and I, I obviously have my own issues or whatnot, um... I have come to despise a lot of the religious sphere because there's a lot of things they are out of touch with and no, my uh, views on marriage and whatnot still stand. That is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how to deal with certain things out of touch with how to treat the nuclear family, how to actually guard the nuclear family and what to actually do when that is in danger and what actual marriage between husband and wife look like. You know, there's, that's for a whole other freaking video. I'm not doing this here. But, yeah, no, they are so out of touch with a bunch of shit, it's not even freaking funny. Oh, my God. Anyway, moving on to the actual claim about the trademark dispute. July said now a trademark is connected to specific goods sold under that mark. Good Shepherd failed to accurately compare the relevant goods. The goods identified in their registration fall into distinct classes. Class 9 covers audio material and Class 16 covers print material. In their original letter to me, Class 9 is what Good Shepherd rely on, but that's limited to audio material, not comic book characters. So there's some misidentification of the covered goods in the lawsuit as it was filed. That's obviously a problem. So that, that's an itty bitty I can't comment on, and I'm not even going to try. Um, but they're also trying to expand the scope of the goods they claim are under this mark by claiming they are printing instructional, educational, and teaching materials all on the field of religion, which is a direct tax from their registration, somehow could be confused with comic books. Yeah, like, if I type ESOM, like, there's a clear uh, distinction between trademarks, um, 
point, logo, the whole shebang. Like, you cannot, I'm not going to confuse this for uh, <laughs> a, a, a ministry school or religious school. I'm just not, like, no. <laughs> Dude, like, again, arrogance, stupidity, out of touch, desperate for money, desperate for the clicks that they had. At, at one point, they may have been the dominant result for the term ESOM, and they're probably not anymore, which, again, cry harder. Like, I can't say that enough. Cry harder. Um, but the worst part is that the ministry's claim goods involved religious content, not comic book characters, he said. Conveniently for them, the arguments brought in the scope of the goods that they claimed with the tr uh, trademark office. So, oh my god. July is in detail. We do not sell audio or electronic books. Doesn't matter if you did. It should not matter if you did. We do not sell print material centered around religious instructional content. And again, even if he did, so what? Our industry is dominated by physical copies that we currently sell, but Good Shepherd is claiming that we sell many of the same types of goods, and that's nonsense. No, you can't mistake the two. They are relying on the fact that our character has a cross on his belt. Oh, cross oh dude, I had a... Oh my god, I, I, I knew it. I fucking knew it. I had a feeling I had to do with the damn cross, too. He saw my cross. Oh, you're suddenly copying us. Oh, oh my gosh. He stated, Good Shepherd does not own the rights to the use of the cross symbol. No, they don't. On the top of that, claiming that there's overlap in the target market is flat out wrong. And, you know, so what if it was? So what? Good Shepherd identifies itself as the largest multi-denominational video-based Bible school in the world targeting Christians who seek to obtain training to bring forth the word. This was stated by the televangelist Marilyn Hickey, and it's on their website. <laughs> we are a comic book company. We set out to entertain. First and foremost, July said, the Ripperverse is not a ministry, nor does anything <laughs> that we have, or that we do have faith-based instructional or training aspects. Maybe there'll be some overlap if our business was like the International School of Min uh, Ministry with Pastor Chris and Christ Embassy, or if we were the Illinois School of Ministry, or the Indiana School of Ministry, or the Islamic Society of Miss West. <laughs> I see what you did there. Awesome. They're all specifically involved in faith and ministry. Dude, yes, I, I see what you did there. That's awesome. To your knowledge, there aren't any active trademark disputes between them and Good Shepherd. Or the vet, or the cigar people. Like, give me a break. The Ripaverse is not a religious organization. He pointed out the individual religious beliefs of our employees and contractors are completely irrelevant to what we do. We do have a public code of ethics, and it says nothing about religion. Here's, okay, again, here's why they're not going after these people. Because these people are very similar to them in content and audience that they want to target. As I said, and I cannot say this enough because this is a, like just this is freaking it doesn't even go that deep what these shitheads are doing to July. Their site is down clicks, they are down possible revenue and enrollment. I I'm willing to bet money on it. And because July has been pumping out his comic books, so I've come across his Twitter advertisements, his videos. He has put in the effort needed and he has surpassed the results in the algorithm because at one point, again, this goes back to the chambers of my heart, the expression that I cannot trademark. I can only trademark my, my personal expression of it. At one point, you can type in the chambers of my heart and had my stuff pop up very top. Can you do that anymore? No. Do I care? No. I'm not trying to be top click right now, and I don't care to be. And if I wanted to be, I would have to bust my butt to do something completely different from what I'm doing now. Good Shepherd, I think, has done the same thing the same way for years and gotten the same results. Well, there's now a new contender and is now at the top, which is normal because of popularity and the algorithm goes, hey, um, we notice that this this person is putting up more underneath this term and so we're going to pop this up because this is what people are looking for more. Like, I, I don't think, again, goes back to being out of touch. 
Good Shepherd Ministries is not familiar with how an algorithm works. So again, I have no background, but I've been online enough to go, yeah, no, you're not feeding the algorithm enough. People are not looking for you enough. So the algorithm is going to pop up with the wanted result of what everyone is looking for. And sorry, you just ain't it anymore. Got to do something different. Let's continue. But we are a for-profit business and therefore have profit to plunder. And that is what Good Shepherd has demanded. Yep. So there is more to this uh, comic, uh, excuse me, article. At some point, Good Shepherd claimed that a forever license payment is required to protect their right. July said, this is simply not true. A perpetual license would tie the Ripiverse and Good Shepherd together forever. I thought that was specifically what Good Shepherd hoped to avoid, question mark. So, again, this is... I I'm not going to mix this up with the freaking school ministry. And guess what? Here here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing. I have a villain. That uh, this is a story I have not worked on in quite a while. My villain wears a freaking cross. But it's not for the reason that people would think or assume. No, no, there's a deep symbolism to it. But he still wears a effing cross. That does not mean somebody from the Christian sphere can come after me for it. If I ever were to get to where Eric July is now and other people who have successfully launched their stuff. Um... So, oh my gosh, there's no, <laughs> again, the Christian sphere or religious sphere proves how out of touch they are with shit. Not surprised. Number two, this whole thing was initiated due to trolling, Joy said, had they done their diligence, they would, oh my gosh, the tanking on this is shit. Um, they would have known that they were relying on false reports to initiate this very conflict. Good Shepherd saw this as a monetization opportunity that would explain their lack of research. Yeah. Number three, as I explained to you all in the statement, we gave Good Shepherd the origin of the name Esam. Yeah, this, this, he tried to reason with them. Tried to tell them, hey, you know what? You guys are wrong on this. Um, but they didn't want to listen. Number four, Good Shepherd was not open to compromise. No, because they're after money. This is what it's about. They are after freaking money. And if anybody, and I hope to God this comes out in discovery, what their finances look like, because I bet you right now they're dog shit. I bet you anything they're hurting for money, they're not getting the revenue, or should we say the donations that they're used to getting once upon a time. They're not getting the favor of the algorithm anymore. And the on and off I've heard about Ripiverse and Esong, Esom has been attacked by other media outlets, particularly uh, left wing, and he pretty much kind of told them to pound sand um, because he is a successful, if we want to use buzzwords and all that other bullshit, he is a successful person of color, black man, creating comics that people want to buy and pour money into... And a lot of left-wing media got pissed. I did see that, and I saw that floating around Twitter. And it's like, oh, well, they're pissed because somebody actually, you know, is producing for their fans, person of color, and they're getting pissy. There's all kinds of bullshit flying around. Um, anyway, so, yeah, no, I, I really, really got peeved off by the little bit I saw from the video. And... As in regards to, I don't know, the effing beef between Rakita Law and Eric DeLaw, it's something dumb. Um, as far as you know, there's talk of a charity and how Dick Masterson sent emails, which um, pours also into this freaking conflict, um, which, if I were to make an assumption, um, Good Shepherd Ministries got notified by these emails. Again, I, I don't know the full story, so don't quote me here. Got notified by these emails of Eric July's work and character. And went, hey, these guys are um, infringing on your trademark, which started this entire bullshit. Because uh, Eric July does mention trolling. And as far as I know, Dick Masterson, dude's a dick and needs to get the fuck off the web. That's all I know about the guy. That's all I care to know. Every time that guy's name comes up, it's not good. I've seen the little snippets um, from Elisa Clips. I'm going to put her stuff in the link in the description below. Uh, I'm going to put this article. I'm going to put 
Um, the video that I started to watch on link in description, it was a five minute video, but still this is how um, I started my video. So I'm going to give credit where credit's due. And the whole lot. So honestly, I hope Eric July freaking buries these shitheads because honestly, <laughs> this is the most arrogant fucking thing I've seen come out of the religious sphere in a very, very long time. And there's a lot of arrogant crap that I stumble across from just like, nope, 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 nope. I'll make comments on it Facebook wise and maybe Twitter, but I won't do full blown videos. This one got me pissed off enough because I've been hearing about the beef with Eric July on and off. Um, I watch Elisa clips and I just, it, it's the whole thing is fucking stupid. You have people going around being petty. Now, am I saying Eric July's response has been 100%? No, I don't know that. Um, I just, I don't know anything about what the hell this charity talk is about. I really don't. And at this point, I don't care to know. When it comes to Eric July and Good Shepherd Ministries, I hope freaking Eric July buries them. Because, yeah, a lot of people, as I, as I showed you on Twitter, let me show you the list again, is somebody went out of their way. Not even going out of their way, it's a freaking Google search. Isam Veterinary Hospital, Isam Collective, Isam Global Strategies, um, Isam Scrubs, Isam Lab, International Society of Obstetric Medicine, Isam. Oh, there's more. There's more. There's more. Um, Robert T. Isam, MD, Mo Isam Aiken, Isam Holdings, and more that you may want to look into. There was the Oklahoma University of Oklahoma I freaking pulled up in cigar shit. Uh, this is the very definition of doubly down. They got duped by Eric Haters and refused to acknowledge it. Yeah, so this is somebody who saw dollar signs and is hurting for revenue. So I can't emphasize enough. I hope Eric July effing buries them. Like, this is, like, these people look like they need a good fucking smack. I think a lot of people involved in this need a good fucking smack in the face. This is so stupid. You know, I'd wish people would just leave each other alone, but, you know, this is the internet, and that d sort of thing doesn't happen. And we're creeping on to almost an hour, so I'm going to end it. But, yeah, I got fired up enough to do a video, because I'm like, wow, this is... This is stupid, and this is frustrating, and I, if I had someone come after me, I would keep my professionalism as much as I could... But, oh dear God, I'd make them pay for it. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>